What's up, YouTube? Today is June 24th, 2015. I'm here with my father. We are going to the Fairmount Dam. And uh, the original plan was actually for us to hitch Newton Lake in Collingswood, New Jersey. However, there was a little thunderstorm last night. I don't know if you guys saw that on the news, but it passed through Philadelphia and Camden. And you know, there was like a little tornado. So it was really bad. It destroyed a lot of stuff. A lot of trees kind of fell. You see, you can still see the debris over here, right? So Patco kind of closed down. So, you know, I had no idea. I woke up this morning. I went down to the 8th Street station to get the Patco to New Jersey. And they told me, you know, Patco shut down for the day. So yeah, uh, I had to change plans, you know. I told my father, let's just go to the Fairmount Dam then. Uh, the problem is all the equipment that I have with me right now are for northern snakeheads and largemouth bass. I don't have any sinkers. I don't have any weighted jig heads, which are, you know, the, the stuff that I'm supposed to use over here. So I don't know exactly how we will go, but, you know, hopefully we'll be able to catch some fish uh you know we will try our best so i will keep you guys updated on that we will be fishing the east side and the west side of the fairmount dam over there and you know i will come back when we catch some fish hopefully you know i'll be able to land something with the stuff that i have today which is very limited all i have is really gary yamamoto senkos on like a 5-0 gamakatsu hooks and zoom flukes but as i mentioned no sinkers no weighted jigs, no swim baits, no jerk baits, no crank baits, no nothing. So yeah, we will see. Look folks, this is something that I do not like when I come fishing, okay? And it is, there is trash everywhere in the fishing spot, okay? So you know, all the stuff here should be in the trash, all right? Seriously, like folks coming here to fish, that's one thing. You no know, full of trash. I'm gonna collect some more after fishing, you know. Like that's why I say if you are a true angler, you should maintain your fishing spot clean so nobody gets hurt, you know, and like you know it's good for the environment. Anyways, let me set up my stuff now. So today I'm using the same rod I use all the time, my Cortland Endurance knife feet rod. As always. I'm gonna do it a combo with my Shimano, my Shimano Symmetry 4000 FL. The line for my Shimano, it's about time to change it already. I still didn't have the time to do so. So I'm still using the same line, 12 pounds, Berkeley fluorocarbon line. And you know, I probably over here, I probably gonna tie a Senko and see if there are any largemouth bass or anything like that. I'm gonna give a single to my dad too, so he can have some fun. Wacky rigged it on a 5-0 Gamakatsu hook. The tide is getting from high to low at the moment, and apparently it's been already about two hours since high tide. So, you know, my expectations for the bass here are very limited. We're gonna use this time very wisely. In case we don't catch anything on this side of the river, we're gonna move to the west drive where the rocks are. All right, let me tie all my stuff. I will come back when I catch some fish. Fish on, folks. Fish on. Oh, came off. I had a fish on. I had a fish on for two seconds, folks, on the Senko, wacky rigged, 5 0 Gamakatsu. Now I have to see if this fish will bite again or not. Right here. Oh man, I think that bass is a goner. I think that bass is a goner. Nightcrawler time, man. That's it. I ain't playing no more. It's nightcrawler or nothing. They don't eat a nightcrawler. I don't know what they're gonna eat.
Oh my god. Seriously? This, okay, guys, this is one greedy bluegill. This is one greedy bluegill. Yeah, yeah, sure. Look at this, guys. All right? On the night crawler. But come on. Really? Well, this guy's going to die. So, you know, this gentleman wants it. You can have it as bait. Yeah. All right? Here you go, man. Yeah. Nice little bluegill for bait. Yeah. Wow, that's a greedy one on a 5 0 Gamakatsu. Fish on, folks. Fish on. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh. It was a large mouth bass. Man, what is with my luck today? Stock hold up. See what we got here. Baby oh <laughs> my god, yes, we got ourselves a baby striper. Trying to get some bait fish from my father to put it under the float. Got this little, 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 little striped bass, right? As you guys know, stri there, the Schuylkill River has a striper migration during the spring and the fall. Results baby striped bass. Okay. Oh, watch out. Yeah, I got it. Sorry. Quick update, folks. So, uh, so far, my father and I, we fished the east side, the east side of the Fairmount Dam. Uh, it's going high tide to low tide. It came to a point that the low tide there was so low that, you know, we just decided to stop for a break, get something to drink, and go to the west side of the river. I missed a couple bites on the east side today on the Senko. This is what I use, okay? Five inch Senko on a 5.0 Gamakatsu hook. I missed, I, I missed like four bites, man. No hookup. And you know, one of them, I even saw the bass. It was like a 1.5, two pounder. So nice bass. So you know, even though I didn't catch anything to show you guys, there are large mouth bass over there, just so everyone knows. Not easy to catch but there are large mouth bass over there. So now we're going to the Cosme Cafe, which is right here at Lloyd Hall. We gotta get something nice and cold to drink. I mean, it is hot outside today, 80 something degrees. And then after that, we're just gonna walk to the west side of the river. I will keep you all updated. Ah, folks, straight off bad luck. So as I mentioned previously, the original plan was to go to Newton Lake in Collinswood, New Jersey where some uh, northern snake has a large mouth bass. And you know, that didn't work out because Patco didn't have power. So we fished a little bit the east side of the river and we decided to go to the Cosmic Cafe at Lloyd Howe. No power. <laughs> so we weren't able to even get a cold drink. So yeah, we just drank some water from the fountain. We we're going to the west side of the river now. And you know, hopefully, I, I only got senkles and zoom flukes. <laughs> hopefully, we'll catch something on that side. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Sean. Ah, it's small mouth bass. All right, we got here a small, small mouth bass on the Thomas fishing lures. There we go. Okay, let me take the hook out of this little fella. There we go. Small, small mouth bass from the Schuylkill River. On the Thomas Lures. What? Oh, what? Oh, fish on. Oh my god. Another small mouth bass the size of my hand.
Let me unhook the poor fish. All right, second small mouth from the Scugo River. Size of my size of my hand, miniature man, less than six inches. All right, go ahead, little guy. Seriously, where are the big fish? Ah. Oh, fish on. Really? Huh? Yeah, another small mouth the size of my head. What is going on, man? Every time I fish the Schuylkill River now, all I catch are these baby smallies, man. I don't get anything big. And this spinner, I use the spinner in many different bodies of water, all right? And I caught big smallmouth bass, two, three pounds. You know, my biggest being a three and a half pound from the Swatara Creek. Man, all right, anyways. Fish on! Rapaz! Fish on the bobber. Not sure what it is. I had a night crawler down here. Oh man! It's a catfish! It's a channel catfish. Ah oh, man, small channel catfish. Small channel catfish on the night crawler under a float here <laughs> here on the Skugo River. Look at the size of this little channel catfish. Look at the size of this little channel catfish. Oh man, I gotta tell you. Swallow my hook pretty well, but uh, not, not up to the stomach, so I will be able to remove it without a problem but yeah I, I was expecting something else not gonna lie to you folks I mean you know I had a night crawler like I mentioned right night crawler under the float there we go All right little channel catfish this one I'm gonna take a photo and just release. All right, so today, so far, I've caught one small striped bass the size of my finger. One blue, a greedy bluegill on a 5-0 hook. Uh, a couple smallmouth bass on the Thomas inline spinner, also miniature. And now a channel catfish under a float. There we go. And as I mentioned before, initial goal was to go to Collingswood for Northern Snake has a large mouth bass. Turned out to be a multi-species day. <laughs> All right, I will come back if I catch more fish. Oh no. I wanted a white perch, but this does not feel like a white perch. Can't even catch bait properly today. Looks like a small channel cat. Very small. Yeah. Not too bad. This little fella is going to be bait. So yes, I was pretty much planning on getting a white perch as bait. But you know, a channel catfish will do. This is a juvenile catfish. There is no minimum size requirement for Pennsylvania, so I'm just gonna chop and let the tail be the bait. Yeah, catch the white perch, I'm assuming. If there is anything on. Oh, a little eel. Tay, Leuza. Sorry? Oh no, we're good, man. We we just got bait. Yeah, thanks.
let's see if there's anything on the spinner here. If anything follows. All right, what we got here? Wow, now this is amazing. This is amazing in a sense that I got a red breast. I'm assuming this is a red breast sunfish. It looks a little bit weird with the orange dots on the side. A little bit discoloration. Mm, yeah, this dots get getting me a little bit confused, but yes, I would take this as a red breast sunfish from now from the Skugel River, okay? So there you go, folks. And this is actually uh, my first red breast sunfish ever from this river, so it is it deserves a photo. As a multi-species angler, you know this is what we do. We catch new types of fish and record it. So there we go. Red breast sunfish from the Schuylkill River. Now I gotta release it. There we go, little fella. Finally, since that my dad's landing a solid fish on the eel hat. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ah, oh, my dad said it's not big. Still, if he's pumping, that means it's gonna be bigger than a pound. Can always count on the big fish when it comes to the eel hat. I don't know, he doesn't look that big. Mmm, he lost it. Mm, all right, next one. <laughs> My father finally hooked one on the eel, but it's not looking that big. Has a show me. Meo? Extremely small. Hmm. Two pounder. What's A two, two and a half, better than nothing. You feel just a tease here. You will pound the you Paula. I'm not going to call her. You're going to call her. You're going to call her.